It is a commonly said fact, and here it is again. We humans know more about outer space Then we know about the depths of our own planet's oceans. And among the many mysterious things dwelling in the world's waters are some truly epic creatures <laughs> capable of turning land lovers into lunch. These are badass ocean creatures that eat land animals. Number 15. Catfish we are talking about the actual catfish here, not some man on Facebook calling himself Martha in southwestern France. The catfish has become an unusually dangerous predator, having somehow taught itself to hunt passing birds. Yeah, this one's much wilder than Martha. In the city of Albi, pigeons often gather to clean and bathe themselves on a small gravel island in the middle of the River Tarn. For many, it's their final wash. They just don't know it yet. In the peaceful waters of the river, European catfish prowl for food. Measuring up to 1.5 meters in length, the European catfish is the largest freshwater fish in the entire continent of Europe, which makes this next part all the more understandable. The catfish launch themselves out of the water, grab one of the unsuspecting pigeons, and wriggle back into the water to dine on their new catch. It's a risky strategy, but one that usually pays off for the catfish. Most animals would never risk stranding themselves for one meal. But, like its Facebook equivalent, the catfish seems to be extra brave in its belief that it can wriggle back to safety. There's no other fish like it, that's for sure. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Great White Shark it's the shark that needs no introduction, but we have time to fill and can't afford to leave a long gap of silence. This is the great white shark, one of the most well-known and fearsome predators living in the ocean. Anyone that's seen Jaws knows you're gonna need a bigger boat to take this guy on. The Great White is notorious for its willingness to dine on just about any animal with a pulse, and is considered to be especially dangerous towards humans. Perhaps our insides just have a particularly delicious texture that works for shark's teeth, or maybe we're just the cheap meat at the buffet that is the ocean. We'll never truly know. But take a look at this video of a great white shark making a meal of an innocent swimming seal, and you'll realize just how dangerous these animals are. Our harmless little seal never stood a chance. Humans are advised to avoid shark-infested waters, namely to prevent the same kind of unfair fortunate encounter with a shark that this poor seal had. All sharks are dangerous, but the great white shark is a whole other beast. Number 13. Orcas Eating Land Mammals also known as the killer whale, the orca is notoriously one of the top predators in the ocean, and easily the largest predator of mammals in existence today. And like a bodybuilder or Hulk Hogan, the orca's diverse diet makes it one of the most intimidating and formidable foes anywhere in the world. Orca mania, indeed. In terms of the species as a whole, the orca's diet is remarkably diverse for a marine animal. While most undersea creatures tend to exclusively focus on fish or marine mammals, very few manage to feast on both. The orca, however, will happily eat pretty much anything that you put in front of it, and has been seen eating over 140 species of animal. From fish, to sharks, sea turtles, to birds, and even moose. Yeah, that's a pretty well-balanced diet for an animal we all assumed would be content to eat krill all day, every day. The orca can't really survive on land, so quite how it manages to eat something like a moose is a question for another time. But for now, you can be happy to know that there is an equivalent to Hulk Hogan in the ocean, and its name is Orca. Number 12. Tiger Shark It feels almost wrong to call the tiger shark a predator. The tiger shark is a pure scavenger, an animal more than willing to consume anything and everything that it finds around its favorite watering hole. 
You can groan all you want, there are more puns coming. This video shows a tiger shark preparing to dine on his latest meal, an unsuspecting bird peacefully sitting on the water. Slowly, the tiger shark approaches, barely disturbing the water, before he pounces and devours the bird in one bite. I imagine with a bite like that, a Big Mac would hardly even need chewing. The tiger shark's sharply serrated teeth and powerful jaws mean that there is no prey on the planet that cannot be consumed. And apparently, they don't just eat animals. Captured tiger sharks have been found to have consumed license plates and old tires, as well as a bunch of other animals from seals to squid. I love sustainable diets. The tiger shark is notable for the fact that it really has no limits. It will eat anything and everything that it can, which also makes it one of the most relatable wild animals of the ocean. We're all tiger sharks in a way, aren't we? Number 11. Silver Arowana if silver arowana sounds a little too much like a drug for you, you may be pleased to know that this fish is also known as the flying fish, the monkey fish, and the dragon fish. Why so many names for one fish? The arowana is smaller than the piraracu. Well, if you find out the answer to that, please let me know because I really couldn't keep up with this one. The silver arowana is a freshwater fish native to areas of South America, but they're incredibly opportunistic little things. This video shows what happens when a forest habitat is flooded, allowing the arowana to get a little bit closer to the treetops. And when that happens, well, this fish learns to fly. After spotting the ideal meal lurking on a branch, the fish launches himself upwards towards it, successfully devouring the animal and returning to its undersea sanctuary. This is clearly not the kind of fish you want to bump into by accident. Well, if you're a small mammal. I'm pretty sure humans are safe, maybe. I'd stay out of the trees, just to be sure. The silver arowana is a popular fish among aquarium enthusiasts, although it's not recommended for beginners due to its large size and hunting capabilities. And again, if you do decide to get one, stay on the ground. Number 10, coconut crab. We know that they're pretty big and pinchy when they get a little irritated. But crabs are also one of nature's most formidable predators. In fact, many people have encountered the sight of a crab effectively finishing off injured or otherwise vulnerable birds for food. I guess it's what you would call crab cakes. Hey, they're gonna get worse before they get better. Take a look at this video and you'll see a pretty frightening instance of the circle of life, an injured seabird found itself at the mercy of a very, very aggressive coconut crab. Soon enough, five other crabs swarm in, chasing the scent of blood and begin fighting over the bird, which is still very much alive by the way. Over the course of several hours, the crabs begin to shred the bird with their pincers before carrying away their bit of flesh. This is but one instance of the feeding frenzy that ensues when a crab smells blood. It's not a pretty sight. It's surprising to consider a crab even being interested in eating a bird, let alone hosting a huge group meal on its unfortunately still breathing carcass. But nature has always been something of a cruel mistress, and she's had crabs for as long as any of us can remember. Number 9. Archer Fish Evolution has transformed many animals from the generic, average species they once were into fully capable hunting weapons, gifted with abilities near unheard of for other animals of their kind. The archer fish isn't quite what you'd expect it to be, and we're very much here for it. The archer fish mostly preys on insects that live in trees and on branches, which usually isn't a great diet for an animal that lives in the water. However, the archer fish has a pretty handy little trick. You'd expect an animal known as the archer fish to launch itself like an arrow, right? Not quite. This archer is much like the human equivalent, the one firing the weapon. Instead of catapulting itself out of the water, the archer fish shoots an aggressive stream of water at its prey. But unlike a typical water pistol, the stream hits the target all at once, more like a bullet than the steady stream of a super soaker. The prey then falls from its branch into the water and right into the archer fish's belly. 
The archer fish is a surprisingly advanced predator, considering its teeny tiny size. While most predators tend to just make a mad dash for whatever's in front of them, the archer fish is clearly more of a considered hunter. Gotta respect that. Number 8. Snakehead Fish With a name like Snakehead, you'd be forgiven for assuming that these fish are some kind of unusual hybrid. Well, they're not quite, but there are some notable similarities between the snakehead and the snake. The biggest being, they like to eat, whatever it takes. The snakehead fish is native to Asia, but has since been discovered in American rivers, likely as a result of someone releasing a pet snakehead into the water. I got me a snakehead right here. Oh my gosh. Much like snakes, these fish live on a diet of whatever living animals they can get their fins on, and have often been spotted hunting on land. That's right, a fish on land. There are many videos available online of snakehead fish leaving their watery home and quite literally wriggling their way across the dry land to get to their prey, which much like their snaky namesakes, they eat in one delicious bite. The snakehead is generally thought to be one of the most determined and bold fish on the planet, willing to put its own life in danger if it means getting a decent meal. And since they've been recorded eating birds, rats, and even snakes, they're apparently pretty good at it. Number 7. Octopus do not get misled by the cuddly cartoon octopi that have long been on children's cartoons. Their real-life equivalent is an unsettling, mysterious, and apparently quite dangerous animal that nobody seems to fully understand. There's a reason why so many movie villains are octopus-like. Take a look at this video, which shows an octopus literally climbing onto land just for a bite to eat. Its food choice? A nice, delicious, juicy crab. Of all the possible fights in the animal kingdom, octopus versus crab isn't really what we were expecting. But we'll take it. Apparently, the octopus has something of a hunger for crab meat and has often been seen leaving its underwater home just to get a taste. As you can see from the video, the ensuing battle is, well, it's strange. But then, that seems to be a good way to describe the animal kingdom as a whole. The octopus has long been seen as the creepy uncle of the underwater world. While he's not outwardly sinister or friendly, there's just something about him that's unsettling. He's always just kind of there, even when he's not invited. And he's got a few too many hands, but we're not even going to get into that one. Number 6. Sea Anemone this one is pretty insane. Chances are that you've never actually seen a sea anemone, which makes sense as it tends to live far beneath the waves on rocky coasts around the world. They have a unique green color to them, they can't move, and they stick to small food items like mussels, sea urchins, and fish. Or so we thought. A researcher from the Washington Joint Institute for the study of the atmosphere of the ocean became the first to capture an insane sight on video. A sea anemone feasting on a seabird in Oregon. This is, as I'm sure you remember from about 12 seconds, the same animal that cannot move and eat small things like mussels. Yeah, we can't explain it either. The seabird in question is obviously quite a lot larger than the sea anemone, but cannot do anything about the situation. I guess when you're half devoured by an unmoving and generally harmless anemone, you may as well give up. The world has truly fallen off its axis in the past few years, hasn't it? Until this video, it was believed that the sea anemone only ate animals in the water. Now, however, it's thought that the sea anemone is yet another ocean creature that can eat land animals, and apparently it can eat them without much trouble. Number 5. Bottlenose Dolphins they're amongst the most beloved and most intelligent species in all of the animal kingdom. But bottlenosed dolphins are also some of the most creative predators you'll ever see. Seriously, this is pure intelligence in action. A dolphin's diet consists exclusively of marine and ocean-dwelling animals, including fish, octopus, and a whole host of crustaceans. But look at the way these incredible animals work together to get some food. Working as a pack, they rush into the fish, sending them flying out of the water and onto dry land. From there, the dolphins launch themselves onto shore 
and begin feasting as the fish are washed back into the water. Yes, technically this is a little cheat because fish are not land animals, but hey, we like to keep our commenters on their toes a little. As pretty much everyone knows, dolphins are the most intelligent known species living under the oceans, and clearly that intelligence also applies to their creative hunting style. Can you imagine a tiger or a shark being this creative? Well, probably. After all, everybody's gotta eat. Number 4. Kill a fish we are now going to introduce you to an animal that you'll swear doesn't exist. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the most extreme fish on our planet, the killifish. Okay, so they're not all that scary looking, but don't let their size fool you. After all, Chucky the doll was tiny and he killed people in that documentary. The killifish is often kept as an aquarium pet, but that doesn't mean it's anything like a goldfish or clownfish or whatever other fish are usually kept in aquaria. These cute little things are the very definition of live fast, die young. Unlike most other fish, the killifish isn't all that into swimming and prefers to live in puddles or pools or sometimes out of water entirely. This is a species that can survive out of water for over two whole months and they survive purely on the animals that they hunt. That's right. This inches long fish hunts on land. It's also a hermaphrodite, but that's a story for another time. When hunting on land, the killifish particularly enjoys crickets and the taste of insects that live on leaves. By leaping high up toward the branch, they can snag their target and return to the safety of their pond. Exercise and food, what more could you want? Number three, eel catfish. There's something innately creepy about the slithery underwater animals like the eel catfish, an unsettling air-breathing fish native to Central Africa. But this is not just a weird-looking animal, it's a skillful and multifaceted predator. Thanks to its genetic ability to breathe in air, the eel catfish is uniquely blessed with the ability to hunt on land and underwater. And its strategies for both are pretty insane. Underwater, the catfish acts as a kind of filter feeder, sucking the water and food directly into its mouth. But land-based animals require a whole different strategy than just consuming the earth. When tackling a non-aquarian animal, the eel catfish lifts the front half of its body up and bends its mouth down onto the prey, an ability only possible thanks to its unusually adapted spine. While eel catfish are generally known to eat other small fish and other little underwater creatures, they're clearly capable of tackling more complicated and land-based animals. It's only a matter of time before we hear that an eel catfish ate a fox. Mark my words. Number 2. Giant Trevally Thanks to their incredible nature documentaries, the BBC has probably done more to illuminate the wonder of our natural world than anything or anyone else. Where else could you have discovered what a giant trevally is? Wikipedia, please. While filming off the coast of the Seychelles for the critically acclaimed documentary series Blue Planet 2, the BBC crew happened to capture the incredible moment that a giant trevally fish leaped out of the water to catch a passing bird in its mouth. Admit Admittedly, this species is a little larger than your everyday fish. Measuring a whopping 5.5 feet in length and over 168 pounds, so its ability to catch and eat such a huge bird is probably not all that surprising. But then, we think that seeing just about any fish leap out of the water to eat a bird is badass, and one this size is straight up awesome. Given how few species of fish actually eat birds, this is a very rare occurrence in real life, let alone in such incredible high definition video. Take it in, you may never see this again. And you should be grateful, cause this thing would probably kill you in one bite. Number 1. Rainbow Trout we often take the chance on this channel to point out how much we love New Zealand and how beautiful a country it is, but we rarely get an opportunity to mention just how genuinely crazy the native wildlife is. Beautiful? Yes. 
but crazy. That's a combination many of us will have had experience with. The rainbow trout is a beautiful fish and a popular choice for fish eaters and chefs all around the world. But something unusual is happening to this fantastic creature. Not only are anglers and fishermen discovering that the rainbow trout is getting larger, likely due to environmental factors, but it seems they've developed a taste for new and very unusual food. How do I put this? They're eating mice. We have no idea how or why, but the phenomenon has apparently been noticed as far back as the 1950s, though only recently was there enough concrete evidence to prove that this beautiful fish seems to enjoy the taste of a rodent. Whatever floats your fish, I guess. The rainbow trout is a beautiful animal, but it's probably one of the last species you'd expect to be consuming a land-based rodent like a mouse. It just goes to show how truly incredible the animal kingdom can be. And weird, probably more weird. Which of these creatures do you think is the most badass? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.